Alright, we're doing a two part series of beginning to fly tie and you want to fly fish with your flies. The two flies that I recommend, and you don't have to buy many materials, just a few, is the waltz worm versus the pheasant tail. And I'm tying it on a quality vise, Norvice. I recommend it. Even if you want to get into it and you're just starting out, I recommend a quality vise to begin with. Otherwise, you're just going to regret buying a cheap vise and buying more vices after that until you actually get the one that you want. And then you'll have three, four vices in your closet that you never use. All right, the materials that we're starting with is a pheasant tail. It's a natural. They come in an array of colors, but uh, start with natural. It's really good. They're not that expensive. It's like five bucks for two center tails. They've got a lot of material on it. Copper wire for both. This is like two bucks. Copper beads for the pheasant tail and the waltz worm as well. Glue. This one is from Wapsi and Zap collaboration. Scissors and a whip finish. And then for the threading, I like more of a natural color. This one is a Dun, a dot Dun, that matches the hair's ear really well, blends in. And then using an auto bobbin. Love the auto bobbin from Norvice. And then I got a thread stand. I'm gonna rest my bobbin on. And that's pretty much it. One, two, three materials for two different flies. And you can tie the pheasant tail without the copper wire. You can use your threading on it. So that makes it four variations. And you can do the same thing with the waltz worm. Just use your threading and no copper wire. And make sure you subscribe and share my videos with other people so I can make more quality content with y'all. We learn fly tying together. And I also do fly fishing uh, videos. Um, you can join me on my journey, adventure, experience, learn more things, learn more about fly fishing, reading the trout. I hope you enjoyed my pheasant tail fly tying video. You can check out my YouTube page over at Black Raven Trails. We're going to be tying the pheasant tail. It's with natural pheasant tail and natural hair's ear, with copper wire for the ribbing and a copper bead. And the copper bead is a slotted bead for a jig hook. It's got a 60 degree bend in there for the jig hook to sit right behind the eye. So what we're gonna do is build up a thread dam Lock the thread in place, get rid of the tag end, and build a dam, a thread dam, to secure the bead behind the eye of the hook. It's kind of like a cone shape. Thin at the back, thick at the front, towards the bead. Now that it's seated, I'm going to turn the hook. Make sure the slot is vertically upright. Adjust the hook. There are parts, that's why I like the Norvice. You can spin all the way back and then all the way to the front. Building up the body a little bit. Next, I'm getting four strands. You can do a 
from the size 16 I like to do 4 to 6. I generally stay with 4. So you want to measure the length of the body. That's what the length of the tail will be once you have that. Do a loose wrap and then you pull up and that will seat the pheasant tail in a vertical position. Wrap the thread all the way back. Wrap it towards the front again. Reuse this pheasant tail. Snap it off. Or cut it, whichever you prefer. Uh, do some about three or four wraps. Pull the loose ends in so we don't have to cut. And then we're going to tie the pheasant tail away from me. Go back to the front. Now we're going to tie in the copper wire. Like put the copper wire in the slot. And we're going to tie this towards me. Right, so we're at the back. Towards the front, put our thread on the thread stand. Get out our super glue. We want to make a nice, durable fly. So I like to catch more than one fish, more than several fishes on fly before it tears down. Alright, now we're going to go under the hook. So, now this pheasant tail is away from me. Pull it. Make sure it sits flat. And go under the hook. And do touching wraps. Make sure it's nice and taut. Pheasant tail breaks really easily. So, don't pull too hard. That's why they're super glue, so it'll help seat it. Go all the way towards the front. Thread on the thread stand again, have the copper wire, and we're gonna go under the hook. Do one, two, three, four, five, six, five and a half. And then we'll wrap the wire around the thread two times, two or three times, wrap after, and go ahead and twist the wire off until it breaks. Now we're going to apply the hairs here. Do a nice thin Dubbing rope. 
gonna fit into it. Cut off the excess doubling. 